Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Beginning and today I have brought another video to show you how to install Phoenix OS 3.6.1 with VIP console 2.1 already modded with it and since guys this is the latest version of Phoenix OS you'll be finding many more features which you can see on the screen also like in this latest version of Phoenix OS, you are going to find Android Nougat 7.1.2 with updated security patches after which you could get only Nougat 7.1.1 in case of previous versions. Let's begin the guide and let me tell you one thing before beginning the installation process of Phoenix 3.6.1 VIP console, you have to uninstall the previous version if you have installed it. So guys, I have given the link of each and every file that is required in the description. There is a zip file and to download it and extract. So after extracting, you will be finding these folders. And first of all, you have to go to the Phoenix installer folder. You will be finding the installer file. Let's run it as administrator. And friends, finally click on yes so that it will be installing in your device now click on install and then after choose any one hard disk drive so that you can install it there so guys i prefer to choose that drive where there is much space so i'm going to choose my e drive and after choosing click on next and guys here you can choose many options 4gb 8gb if you are installing phoenix os for gaming purpose only then you may choose 16 GB or if you are using other Android applications too then you may choose 32 GB so let me choose 16 GB here and click on install then the installing process will be started so guys please sit back and relax for the installation process till it installs so guys finally our updated phoenix os has been installed already now let's click on ok and then let's go back to our folder and let's choose all the replacement files please open the folder replacement files here you are going to see all the replacement files which will be replacing your standard phoenix os into vip console 2.1 so let's select all these five files and copy and then Go to the installation folder in my case there is e drive phoenix OS. so here you are going to find the phoenix os folder you have just now installed open it and here many files are here so now do right click and then click on paste so that the five files will be replacing here in this folder so it will take a few seconds wait for a while so friends finally after copying all the necessary files go back to your downloaded folder and then open it there now we are going to get another folder which is called vip boot file so open that and you are going to get a small boot file of 305 kb just do a right click and copy this so friends we must copy this file into our c drive where our windows is installed so here we are going to paste it i had already pasted it here so I have this file so after copying the IP put file here in C drive let's go back and then let's see here now go to the boot manager tool here you are going to find boot ice x64 version of boot ice application let's open it as an administrator and then guys go to the tab BCD here you can find at the top go to the tab BCD and click on easy mode and here we have Windows and Phoenix OS already so let's go to the Phoenix OS and the disk must be chosen as hard disk and partition must be C drive then whenever we put into Phoenix OS then it directly goes to VIP console so go to the boot file option here you will see Phoenix LDR so we have to replace the text with DIP boot because in our C drive we had just pasted VIP boot file so now after typing VIP boot click on save current system and then click on ok so finally we have done everything now we can see here our two operating systems let's close it and guys everything is done now it is the time to restart our computer 
so go to power and click on restart so guys here you can see the two different operating system installed already so let's choose phoenix os and hit enter so the first boot of phoenix os will not be going to the vip console guys so it will come back again to the two different operating system list and again in second time we have to choose phoenix os and then finally it will do its work so again choose phoenix os and hit enter now guys wait for a while it will be booting into vip console 2.1 with newer phoenix 3.6.1 guys you have already seen the message system initializing please wait so it will take time for few minutes so guys let's wait for a while all right people the initial setup of phoenix os includes this one let's click on next after choosing language and let's accept the user license then after you can add your Wi-Fi network here at this time also let me skip for a while and click on skip anyway so let's finish the setup so friends here we have VIP console 2.1 on Phoenix 3.6.1 the latest version of Phoenix OS so friends let's check the specification of our newly installed Phoenix OS VIP console 2.1 Let's go to start menu and then go to settings and then let's go to about tablet and Friends here you can see Phoenix OS VIP console 2.1 is installed with Android no got updated version that is 7.1.2 and we have security patch also updated to 2017 we could get only 2016 security patch but here we will have 2017 security patch with kernel version 4.14.15 and then Meza 17.1 and guys the main benefit of this VIP console is Magisk Manager is already pre-installed in our system so that we don't have to worry about installing Magisk Manager manually so let's go here and find out Magisk Manager here we can see it so here we have Magisk Manager and it says requires additional setup and click on yes so as soon as we click on yes then it will execute the script and one reboot is required guys so let's click on yes magisk additional setup has been done guys so now this is the time to install nfs injector module from magisk so let's go to magisk manager and then let's click on menu and then after we will find here modules so let's click on modules and then let's click on the plus symbol here at the bottom so in this plus button after clicking on this plus button and let's do allow and let's go to file manager and as soon as we go to file manager then let's go to the location where we have nfs injector g So here in this folder I have NFS injector module so let me select it and click on select so after clicking on select NFS injector has been flashed already so guys now once we need to click on reboot and after rebooting NFS injector modules will be already installed in our system so friends now last step left for that let's go to fx file explorer and no worries we have already installed fx file explorer along with the installation of vip console let's click on it and then let's accept it so let's do some allow and then let's go back here and we have got this screen let's go to system root and then click on i understand there is this is for the first time we have to click on there and let's click on ok then after we have to give super user permission and then after let's click on data folder and as soon as we go to data folder here we must find the folder nfs so here it goes here we have nfs and here we need to change some text here in three files that is one is governor.txt 
so guys click on govern governor.txt here if you find any other word than performance then change it into performance and let's go back and again let's click on mode.txt let's change the value from 3 into 1 and after typing 1 let's click on option and then save and again let's go back and let's find scheduler.txt and let's click on edit button and then here you must write cfq after writing cfq let's save this file also and guys now all the settings of nfs injector and all the settings of vip console is done for now and in this way we can install vip console with latest phoenix 3.6.1 version in your low-end pc that makes your pc running very well and you can play many many high-end games also along with different kinds of applications also you can use concurrently so guys thank you for watching my video if you find my video useful then please do like share and subscribe my channel for more upcoming useful videos and more latest videos for you so all of you people stay safe and thanks for watching take care